This is a chapter 5 video and we're going to look at class variables and constant variables. So up to this point we've really been looking at local variables and instance variables. So instance variables are effectively fields and our local variables are things which are defined by parameters and local definitions. However, we've now got to talk about class variables and a class variable is shared between all instances of a class. Um, it belongs to the class and, it, and exists independent of any instances. So we can use those uh, static or those class variables whenever we want to, even without creating an object of that class. Um, this is designated by the static keyword. That's what I just mentioned the word static just then. Um, and public static variables are accessed via the name. So for example here, um, if the name of the class was thermometer, we would do thermometer as the name of the class as opposed to an instance of the class dot boiling point which is the uh, the class variable. So just to uh, give an analogy of, of this, uh, in terms of class variables for a car class, the CC of an engine and the number of wheels are going to be a class variable because irrespective of the instance of a class of type Ford Focus uh, 1.1 um, petrol then every uh, instance of that class is going to have a 1.1 cc engine and it's going to have four wheels. Um, the instance variables though are the variables which are specific to that object. So for example each car and each Ford Focus will have an amount of fuel which will be different to the next one. It will also have different amount of miles on the clock. Those are all specifics to those instances. Here's another um, analogy, just as uh, to, to help understand. Um, we've got the bouncing ball there, and that's a class diagram there. And the bouncing ball will have a gravity of three, so we specify the specific gravity. That's probably a gravity of Pluto or somewhere, but but anyway, we specify the gravity in this in the static variable in the class variable. Um, instances of these. So if we have an application which has lots of bouncing balls then they're all going to have the same gravity, however they will have different x positions and y positions dependent um, on where they are in, in our world. But effectively the gravity will be the same. We also use constants and we can provide constants so that with variables, they um, by, uh, by definition, there's something which we can change. However, constants are something which we're going to have set as fixed. Um, and cannot be changed. This is designated by the final keyword. So for example, if we specify the word final before a field name, then that will be that uh, forever unless it gets changed and hard coded in. So final int max equals list.size. Um, final fields must be set in the declaration or the constructor. Okay. Um, something you're going to see later, um, combing, I should say combining, but combining static and final is commonplace. Um, so you can ha you often get a, uh, a class variable or a static variable uh, which is going to be common and must remain common for the lifetime of all the objects. So for example in the, the cars analogy you would, you would declare the number of wheels as four because that is going to stay the same. Whatever happens to that car it's, it's going to stay the same unless something drastically happens to it. Um, so our class constants uh, look like this. Like I say, we use the static and the, the final keywords. Um, that's a full definition there. So uh, definition and assignment where we've got private, static, final, into gravity. Um, the public visibility is less of an issue with final fields because we, we can't change them. Um, and then the uppercase names are often used for class constants. Um, and those, as shown in the example there for boiling point, those are kept uppercase um, and using an underscore there so we can guarantee then that these are going to be our, um, our constants. In order to get your head around um, uh, constants and static variables, then here's a little exercise for you. So read up on the constants and static uh, variables um, before attempting exercise D here. Okay, I'll uh, see you next time.